Yo, what's up guys? So, today, talking about shoes and uh, a bit of maintenance I need to do to mine. So, um, as you guys know, I love to run in Hoka's, um, in particular, the Speed Goat 3's. Um, this is my, f I've got four pairs at the moment, and I've got one pair put aside for Christmas, so that'll be my fifth. Um, all have done really well. Uh, I think I'll, the biggest complaint I hear from people about Hoka's is their durability. So for me, I've had a mixed experience with the durability. Um, so the first pair that I had, I wrecked myself. That was my fault. I was um, I was kneeling up in um, up in Penavan filming, and it just scagged on some rocks underneath me. But I've bought another pair of those since. So got them in the blue. Got it in the kind of ready yellow colour. Um, they're covered in mud at the moment, so you can't really tell. And I got a pair of Speedgo 3s in this blacky green. So pretty much all of these have done around about five to 600K of distance, and they still feel pretty good. I've got to do some work on them though, just to make sure because um, it's starting to get little tears here and there. So like on here, I've got a slight bit of tearing in the upper. Speed Goat 2 again, a similar thing, similar area, kind of at the base of the toes where the shoe bends a lot. That seems to be where I'm getting a bit of rip in. With Speed Goat 3s, I've had no issues with having to do any stitching in the upper on these at all. I've just checked and I've done 700k in these. So I'm doing pretty good, apart from the fact I've discovered a pretty decent hole uh, rip all the way along the edge where the upper kind of meets the base. My gut is telling me just a small bit of super glue along the edge, but I'm concerned if the glue goes inside and then could potentially be rubbing against the side of my foot because I've had problems with super glue in the past where you put too much on and it can wreck something. And then open up the shoe. Right, so I've super glued my hand to the super glue and I've managed to put on a little amount that was left on the shoe. Um, right guys, so uh, shoes repaired, so let's, uh, let's talk about my training. So let me just bring up Strava quickly. Yeah, so this week has been, been pretty good. Um, I managed four runs like I planned, um, totally in four hours. Um, I did these on Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday were pretty easy short runs. They were all around the 5K mark. And then a long run of around 16K on Sunday. And yeah, it was, it was pretty good, really good week. Um, I'm feeling like I'm just getting my mountain legs back. I feel like I'm getting stronger. I feel like I'm getting faster. Um, all without having any sort of niggly pains or or injuries or kind of things like hurting for longer than they should. So so everything seems really good at the moment. You know, I feel like I'm progressing again and building a really good base, which is what this is all about. The next six weeks from now and the previous five weeks have all been about building this solid base to then start my ultra marathon training from. The last five weeks have all been pretty much the same, so I'm going to give you a recap of that. So it's been four runs a week, and I try to get to the gym twice a week. Sometimes it's only once, but I'm doing my best to make sure that's twice now. Easy runs in the week, long run on the weekend. My biggest problem, as far as my own personal training goes, is that on a Tuesday and Thursday, I help out at my local running club at Hengoid Harriers, where I'm a run leader. So. Uh, there are times when I'll need to be taking the session or I'll need to be a back marker or a front runner or, or help out with a couch to 5k. Most sessions aren't necessarily for me. Um, you know, I'm there to help other people, but I'm still getting a run out of it at the same time. So the way I approach those, you can't really plan for it too far in advance, but I still um, stick to the theory of 80% easy, 20% hard across the week. 
So if I turn up to the two club sessions and I feel like they're really easy efforts, so if, if I'm helping out with the couch 5K or if I'm the back runner, then I'll treat those as easy runs. And then I will make sure that my Friday or Saturday run will be speed work or tempo. If I'm the front runner or I'm taking the session, then I will tend to be running that rate of kind of like a tempo anyway. So I treat that as a hard session. And then when I do my additional runs on like a Friday, Saturday, I will take them easy. So I just have to be a bit more flexible with which days I do what sessions. Sunday are pretty much always a long run. This weekend we went to Rudry. Uh, me, Alan Tronk from the running club ran kind of my local route where I always go out to train. So if I'm training for ultras or marathons or whatever I've been doing, I always seem to go back to that place because they're wicked trails. Um, and it seems to have the right amount of climbing and descending. Um, they really liked it. Um, the week before we went out together, we ran up to Machen Mast, and I'm thinking we're gonna do something again this weekend coming up. My gut is telling me to go somewhere called Kumkan, which is a kind of forestry of um, mountains and cycle paths and different things, forestry roads. Um, I've done a video on Kumkan um, back when I first started, almost two years ago. So I'm gonna put a link up there. I can never quite remember which side it is. That was one of the first videos I ever did. And it's me exploring this place because I'd never been there before. But that was the same session I picked up that, that knee injury that's kind of plagued me for ages since. You know, I, I feel like I'm finally over that now. Anyway, I've been there before. I really loved it. I want to go back now when I'm feeling strong again. The kind of the reason why I feel like I want to go to this place, and as it's mostly fire track rather than single track trail, is that I kind of want to put in a really solid effort long run, something that's not going to be slowed down by um, muddy single track or by technical descents. I just kind of want to go out and run a solid 10, 11, 12 miles on fire road that, that goes up big mountains and down big mountains. So that's the plan for this weekend. I'm going to leave it a couple of days. I'm going to check back in with you guys with my shoes to see if they've actually been fixed or if I need to do some more work or whether I'm just going to retire them and stick them on the shelf. All right, guys, so it is two days later and I've got the shoes that I've repaired. Let's see how they look. Um, the one with only the minor um, hole looks pretty solid. Um, I'm trying to give it a fair bit of force that looks fine this was the one i was always concerned about the one with a massive hole um oh as i push down them with a little bit of force uh the glue has just come unstuck how frustrating um right so what i'm going to do as i didn't have loads of glue earlier in the week i'm going to go out and get some fresh glue i am going to try and repair this again and then if it holds up with the, the test of kind of pushing down with some decent force, I will then try it on the trails. That's a real shame. These are the shoes that got me through the South Wales 50. Absolutely love them. The tread is still really good on them. Everything else is holding up so good. It's such a shame to have to put them away just from a kind of hole in the side. Although to be fair, only half of the hole is reopened. So... It must have been that I applied a decent amount of glue at one point and then not at the rest. So anyway, I'm going to give these another go at repairing them. I will then trial them all next week during my trail runs. If they survive, I will tell you about them next week. If they don't, I'll probably tell you about them as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. So next week, I'm going to be releasing a new series called Trail Talks. Um, this is going to sit alongside my vlog, Becoming an Ultra Runner, and in Trail Talks, I'm just going to give advice, I'm going to talk about trail running in general, races I recommend, uh, I'm going to talk about the elite field in ultra running and anything that kind of fits into that trail umbrella. So, hoping to get the first video out on Monday, where I'm going to give some solid advice for new trail runners.